Guys, we are back at the project file today. We got my desktop set up, kind of, still still getting some things installed. I haven't used it in probably like seven months, eight months. Uh, but I figured, you know, we're at home, we got some time uh, to work on, on some personal projects. So I'm gonna start one. I'm gonna make a new project file. And I think I'm gonna walk through that whole process in this video series that I'm gonna introduce. Um, we're gonna make uh, a new project. I'm gonna get into the details a little bit later, but I'm gonna try to follow the microservices architecture. So today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start making the. Uh, my, uh, let me show you. Let me. I got this. Uh, I got this drawing here on the iPad. <laughs> that basically, can you see that? That this is what we're gonna accomplish today. We're gonna set up the API gateway and we're gonna set up the users microservice. Uh, so what that basically means, guys, is we're going to set up our um, SQL Server, our SQL database today. We're going to set up the API Gateway. Uh, I think I'm going to use Ocelot. Ocelot is just a free like, open source API Gateway that you can use with .NET Core. And that's what we're going to use. And then I'm going to set up the user's microservice. And then I'm going to, so when I get that set up, the API Gateway will handle the routing to the microservice. So. Let me let me see how that how that works out. But I'm gonna be able to uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to try to do this on the on the video. We'll see how that uh, works out. to be users microservice that's what we want users user micro service and go databases and you will see user microservice database Sign SSL verification. Uh, when we do that, you can see it created it with the ID of one. When we want, when we want to get our users, we get the list. We can see we made that. But if we also pass in user ID of two, we just get two back. So that's what we're looking for. So yeah, okay. So what we're going to be adding here is our reroutes section. Um, so we're going to be adding some of this information here but we're going to be focusing first on this reroutes part for right now um, so let's go ahead and actually copy and paste over this and then that'll be our kind of acting template right now um. to multiple startup projects because your Ocelot API gateway needs to be running as well as all your microservices. So we are going to say start and then start. So right now what we're saying is the API gateway is going to be running and the user's microservice is going to be running. So when, our, when both of these are running, we're going to first hit the API gateway which is going to route us to the user microservice if we call that API. 
So apply that. Okay. And let's go ahead and start here. And you'll notice that changes because we are we set up the new startup projects. So we're going to go to start. And then it'll open both, um, actually. But the one you're going to want to go to is not your microservices project. It's now going to be your API gateway um, project that opens up. So you'll see it's a little bit different, but if you type in user, it'll pull up the users. So it is routed now through the API gateway, gateway to the user's microservice. So this is just for our GET request. Now we have to configure the POST request. We have the API gateway all set up for the most part. So we're using Oscillate for the API gateway. So that was video one of the microservices project. Um, so I'm gonna try to make it a whole series. Um, I have some footage of me building out the next microservice I'm working on uh, that's gonna fit into this solution. So hopefully um, I'll get that edited edited and uploaded as well. Uh, but yeah, so this was uh, pretty cool to be able to work on um, this kind of like architecture for programming. Um, I'm still getting used to it. So definitely gonna be learning a lot, but I think it should be a cool project in the end. So hopefully uh, you guys like the videos. Hopefully um, they, they go up in quality. Uh, I'm getting a microphone soon in a few days. So I'm gonna have that set up. So that should be, it should be better, I'm hoping. Uh, but we'll see. All right. Thanks, guys.